Oh, didn't save my character. Whoa. Here we go again. War. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. New subscriber. I feel like we just did this before already. This is the overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is reclamation. This was the one we did before? It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. Is it this one? You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. Looks like the numbers are all, like, must have randomly assigned when you ma trait. make a character. You are this country's best and brightest. Looks like four is the closest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Okay, we want... We want dashing rogue. Yeah, the face is not right. They had the perfect face, but that face is now gone. That's music from follow uh, the handheld one. I think it might be this one. That's a bit, he had different hair starting here. Okay, so. We, we wanted middle ager, I think. Mid lifer. We want to change skin to pale, eyes to brown. New subscriber. Eyebrows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. 
Eyes look different this time. It looks more like Swifter than me. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to get there. Little more. Too much hair. Oh, I uh, want dashing rogue. Now we want body. Make us attractive to the ladies that like a little extra. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, Co. It, some people like a little extra, right? They want a second serving. Uh, the face the first time is so much better. I'm, I'm so mad it didn't save my character. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'll be, I'll, we're, I'll just wear a helmet the whole time. It'll be fun. Ah, whoops! Okay, well that's my picture. Is it on? Shh. That's got driver's license photoed. <laughs> I right, reread that already. Right, grab my pit boy. Get out. Yeah, I think it doesn't save until you leave the vault. We were getting real close to leaving the vault. Yeah, let me just open the console and adjust the field of it. Oh. Such a huge responsibility. Darn. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. Yeah, yeah, we did this before. Yeah, it's been. I've got my own mission out there in Boom, boom. We taught you, taught you, taught you. Okay, this is where we were. All right, back to playing. Hi. Be on constant alert for the clickety click of your pit boy's built in radiation meter. Tick, tick, tick. I might say that one song. It must be terrifying leaving this warm, secure vault for a hostile wilderness with no running water or electricity. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what adjusting the field of view on the players and affects the game at all. I don't, I don't understand. But remember, you don't have to go it alone. Find friends or make new ones. <laughs> Your cap is the key to survival and rebuilding, so use it often. Okay. I shall take this. And all these in the back. Hmm. Uh, no Gromp Killer. I'd have to have, ask his mom for permission. I don't feel like I do that right now. They fixed the performance issues? Well, we haven't let the vault yet. Pin. Perk cards. Hmm. Luck. Boom. Ah. Let's get lucky. I feel lucky. Says extra chance to f loot a Twitch Prime sub every time he mentions the word Twitch Prime. Goodbye. Oh, it works! Spooky! Ciao. 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 
Fine, not Codsworth. West Sirius. They grow up Eric so Mighty. Thank you. I wish I had that picture. New subscriber. Picture's so much better. Charbix or thank you for the sub. Although I don't I didn't see a single use for this like photo thing though. New subscriber. I think it's just like a cosmetic thing. Laura in the Overseer's office, what? New subscriber. I can't go back in, can I? Uh speaking of PC specs. New subscriber. Origin's probably gonna be building my new PC on Thursday. And there's rumors of double twenty eighties in there. Yeah, they built me a streaming PC. Now they're gonna build me the gaming PC, so RTX can be on. SLI could probably handle RTX. The other stuff, not so much. All right, I'm on a mission for lore. Got to find the lore. First, I sense lore down here. Right there. Sir, I found this hollow tape on the overseer's terminal. Gave a little listen. Seems you should meet her at her camp just down the road. Uh, there wasn't a day one patch. I think that must have been released a few days ago when they patched the beta. New subscriber. Thanks for subbing the Kurt. All right, here, here we go, guys. First bit of lore. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia mm. before the bombs fell. How would you know that? They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Man, she... One bad thing about this game is the... All the audio logs sometimes just drag on forever. It's like, I got I'm trying to... I need to read this lady. But you're just like, reading so slow. Paul, I need you to make the monthly scouting run to Vault 76. Those doors have to open sometime. Don't take risks. Observe a few days and come back. Maria. So it looks like... Everyone was... People were alive. And then all of a sudden they're not. Right before the vault opens. That's like the main story. Is figuring out why... All right, let's go kill some things for... I know there's loot over here, so let's go grab it. There are NPCs. They're just all robots. I'm surprised there aren't any, like, ghouls yet, though. I find that weird. Oh, 
Unless they just sort of all pop up at once. Oh, there are ghouls? I mean, like, not feral ghouls. Yeah, like, when do, like, normal ghouls start appearing? Like, the ones that can talk and stuff. And start insulting you by calling you smooth skin. How did I, how did I get this hoodie? They sent it to me. Technically, uh... It was a bribe to play on Xbox. And I did play on Xbox. I played the bait on Xbox. And New subscriber. then I realized the game barely ran at 30. And I was like, um, I'm good. I'll just play on PC. Yeah, it's like, I'm good. I, I gave it a try. New subscriber. We played the bait. And I was like, this is just not working for me. Yeah, I'm like, New subscriber. I gave it the good old try. Thank you for subbing, Tyrebore. Or Tyrebo, U.S. clone, Capsule Corpse Empty, Twitchdo, The Kurt. Ooh, can't paint it. Yeah, Julia made us some, some Fallout emotes before um, she took a little break. She's on a little break right now. But we got them uploaded, some Vault Boy themed emotes. Ah, my eyes. The low field of view hurts my eyes. That's why I gotta look away at chat every once in a while. New subscriber. I always played uh, Fallout 4 on like field of view 85 to 90. So playing at like, I think the default 60 is like. Eh, but we're good through it. You were able to adjust the field of view in the beta, and it was perfectly fine, and ran great. But then they s decided that was not okay, and then they locked it down. So now no one can anymore. Yeah, I don't know why. You could also adjust the, the, the frame rate. The frame rate had to be capped because it gave people speed hacks. The bug in Fallout 4 is when the frame rate is running at like 120 or higher, the game is running about double the speed of normal. So. Oh, you can still edit the I9, it just doesn't do anything anymore. They, it just like the field, the field of view edit doesn't work anymore. You can change the setting all you want, it just won't do accomplish anything anymore. Hi there. Why is there a couch on a truck and they're just chilling in it? Yeah, they say having a high field of view make, breaks the game graphically or animation or something, but a lot of us were playing with high field of view and we had no problems. So I don't think that that's true. Unless there's something that we just don't know about. I remember uh, Shroud was playing high field of view, even Ko was trying out high field of view and it was running great. No issues, but for some reason they say that it breaks animations or something, but... Oh, that's a... Oh, a tick. That ain't right. Oh, God. Oh, die, die. Oh. It's the size of a dog. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. 
That's creepy. Infused soot flower tea. And some corn. Delicious. Any lore in here? Sir, is there any lore? I need you to come out, please. Here for the lore. All right, no lore right now, but I'll be back. All right, let's see here. Let's put on party hat and glasses. Because, yay, party! Any lore in here? Don't. Oh. I think it was level eight and died like nothing. Mountain honey. Disease cure. Yes, yes. Mason jar. Large sealed egg. What's the what's mountain honey? Is that like lamb fries where it's not what it sounds like? And you don't want to know what it is? Mountain honey. I remember that scene from, God, what was it called? The movie Chevy Chase. With lamb fries in it. I can't remember the name of the movie. Do you remember the movie where they, they buy, a, he's a writer and he buys a house at Bunny Farm, that's the one. I think. I think it's funny for him. It sounds familiar. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie. Oh, there's only two other players on the server. It's like single player. to see other people. Well, then, well, technically the game's not a release. They just accidentally released it early on PC, because, yeah. Whoops. Technically, it still comes out tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, God, more ticks. <laughs> Still gross. And the, watching it hop like that, that was creepy. That's, that's, imagine being a creature where you survive by sucking the blood out of other creatures. And you don't even get superpowers like vampires by doing it. At least a vampire gets like powers and stuff, but no, you get nothing. Yeah, being a parasite. Live off of other people. Speaking of which, don't forget to sell with Twitch Prime! Saw, bottle, hunting rifle. Oh, found it. Hunting rifle is too good. New subscriber. Hunting rifle is probably my favorite weapon. Let's see, uh, favorite is C. New subscriber. Oh God, how did? There we go. Only New 17 subscriber. bullets, though. That's fine. Wood 
scraps. I need wood for my place. Should I grab all the wood? Second building out here. Okay, building your slacking. There was zero lore in there. I expect better next time. Well, for me personally, playing as melee always felt weird in Fallout because you have you're in a game with mini nukes, giant mini guns, laser weapons, and you choose to pick up a hammer and hit people with it. It's like, I mean, sure you can do that if you find that fun. But it's like, why though? At least do one of the fancy weapons, like Super Sledge or something. That's That I can get behind. It's like today, like if someone in war charged a firing squad with just a big hammer. But then again, you have like a insane amount of health. Uh, 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 uh. I'm blocking the HP bar. Well, if I'm not dead, I'm still alive. So you'll be fine. If I'm not dead, all you gotta really worry about is this last little bit here. Whether I have 60 or 50 or like, doesn't really matter. You'll be fine. If I move over to the right, I'll be covering the subtitles. Or I could just install a UI mod and just move it. Oh, wait. I can't mod it. I know. I know. If I put myself in the middle of the screen, I'll cover the uh, subtitles. And pieces of paper and stuff. And the compass. I can't win. Yeah, Julie did a great job with Dan Keck. She made it a robot. I was like, oh, that's clever. Right, let's go to the overseer's camp over here. Why not put yourself on top of the health bar? I had an idea about where to put myself the camera. Let me just try. I came up with this idea all by myself. Let's see. There. My idea. How do you pull? What's the button on PC to pull up the, the wheel of favorite things? Q? No. F? F. There we go. There we go. What the hell is that? Don't know what the hell is going on there. Wixen Homestead. I will scrap all my junk, please. Of course, there's always one guy that always says, It's all F4. Because after about 15 years, he's still trying to get someone to fall for it. One of these days, he'll get someone to fall for it, and he's going to feel, like, accomplished. Hasn't happened yet, but it will happen one day. Bunch of bags of fertilizer, aka Destiny 2 pre orders. All right. Ma'am.
Did you just shoot yourself? It's not like she shot herself after I killed her. Just like... Okay. Oh my god, they fixed the toilet paper from vanilla. In vanilla, the toilet paper is reversed and that triggered the hell out of me. Yeah. And they say they didn't improve anything from four. Obviously, you're not paying attention. Desk fan, always good loot. Psycho tats. Bobby pin. Duct tape. Need all the loot I can get. <gasps> Lore. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell's that mean? Supplies running low. May try to get Abby way over the mountain. Free state's gotta know more. Sammy, read this. Get to Abby. Straight east of the Red Rock, Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look over after you. Because sure as shit, nothing else will. East of Red Rocket Megastop. Oh, I marked on my map. I love the new map. This is so good looking. Reminds me of like, you ever gone to Disney World or a amusement park where you pull up like the folded map and everything's like animated like that? No, okay, you probably haven't gone outside, but it is a thing. Why is the stash limit 400 pounds? I don't know. Probably to get you to trade, I'd imagine, but... I hate... Don't like having limits. Hopefully they add, like, ways to increase the limit over time. I heard someone. Uh, no matter how many storage chests you build in this game, your storage cap is always 400 pounds. Unless they change it or have changed it since. It would be nice if there's like a way over, like a, a long grind to get more over time. Yeah, and loot is super, 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 like, overabundant everywhere. So if they want to try to, like, limit people's ability to have stuff, they should really severely cut back on how much stuff you can loot in the environment. There's so much of it. And it all respawns, too, after a certain amount of time. What is that? That's a frog? Are you kidding me? That ain't a frog. What the hell? Uranium ore. Oh, come here. Hmm. I do hope they at some point release servers with different settings, like... A hardcore server where enemies deal more damage and loot is scarce. And then also servers that are like PvP servers where for those people that want that experience where you can be attacked at any point and you deal full damage to people that aren't expecting it. Instead of the current, like, the current system is sort of like a wishy-washy kind of like we want everyone to play, which is fine, but they really need, like, a PvP server 
and then a PvE server, not kind of throwing them both together. Because it feels awkward for people that want PvP. And annoying for people that don't want PvP. Hello, metal bed. How did you fit all that in a toolbox? That's a lot of stuff. Uh, the way PvP currently works is you see another player and you fire at them and you deal like just a little bit of damage. Just tink, tink, tink. And then let, if they don't fire back, you, you just deal a little tiny little bit of damage to them, not very much. And then, and then when they fire back, then you start doing full damage. Which is like, oh, okay. So you never can like be sniped from a distance without expecting it. Because they, they have to like, you have to fire back to make it like start going, which is a little weird. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated animals, haywire bots, and no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild. What I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station? The stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Well, if you can get by without a camp, why can't I get by without a camp? Doesn't make any sense, lady. Alright, let's make uh, some armor if we can. I don't know if we have enough. Light armor chest piece left arm right arm left leg oh no thought oh, he one more piece of leather Just one, just one. Something's gotta die. Need an animal, anything. It's gonna make me really upset if like just have missing one piece. It's like walking around with only one shoe on. It's just weird. What the hell is that? Hollow tape. Environmental sensor is busy collecting data. Hmm. I don't think I ever noticed that there before. That sounds like it's gathering lore slowly. Well, I guess we can, if we can't find an animal, we'll just head to the town. He's 
gonna blow! Run! If you knock off both Protectron arms, they explode. Little tip from me to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Level up! Alright. Hmm. Chance to find extra ammo. Wait a minute. I played the beta and I was just literally drowning in ammo because there was so much of it. I don't think I need that yet. Hmm. Target limbs. All right, I'll go with that one for now. Initial ammo is a lot, but level 15 plus, you need to craft a lot. Okay, it's good to know. I'll invest in that later. Oh, what? How does VATS work? Well, I'll show you now that I have the upgrade for it. It's different. Different. Well, that's a good word. It's different. Neutral. Good neutral word. It's very different from the other games. You ever play a game where someone can just sort of auto hit your head without even aiming? You know, like an aimbot cheat program. That's what it is in this one. You just target where you want to hit and it just auto aims at that part without you having to aim. Consumes action points. Uh, in the other Fallout games, it would stop time. And then you could target a body part and then fire. And while you're doing that, you're immune to all damage that's happening. Vats is really, 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 really good for stopping the game and be like, <sighs> okay, I just, I, I just need a minute. Okay, someone's over there. Someone's over there. Someone's over there and over there. Yeah, I think in 4 they changed it, but... Compost. So I'm going to aim at his thruster and it will auto fire at the thruster. Well, just like normal Fallout 4, aiming at certain parts is really hard on robots. Okay, I need more water. And we're thirsty. And a little bit of a sip. Oh, leather, leather, leather. No, meat, meat, meat. None of that's leather. Is this sponsored? Nope. I'm just playing because I like I like Fallout enough to play through the lore stuff. I have no interest in multiplayer at all. But I play I play because I like the Fallout area. I like explored Fallout. Hmm. Nothing there. Yeah, the map is huge compared to Fallout 4. Absolutely massive. 
Did I turn on? Let me make sure that I turn that on. New subscriber. Yep, it is on. Um, what what I find fun about this game, and I don't know about you, but is I just want to like go to each of these little places and just see what's there, see what like little stories are there, what it looks like, what's inside each of the buildings. I just I just like looking around in the world. I find that that's what I do in Fallout 4 is I like walk around and I'm like, ooh, what's in there? And then when you kill a bunch of dudes inside, then you were like realize, oh, there's a little bit of a story here. This guy died here trying to what is that? It's it's a three-headed possum. Dear Bethesda, please release an official mod for free for Fallout 4 that adds all these mutants to that game. Amen. It needs more enemies. Thank you. And if they don't do it, I'm sure someone will at some point if they can rip the files out free okay how about people that own this game get that for free as a DLC or something oh, a little hotel or motel I was being generous by calling it a hotel it's all boarded up do you guys ever watch uh, YouTube videos where they walk through abandoned hotels and other buildings? You just see just like there's there's big giant hotels and other buildings that are just sitting there abandoned. And New subscriber. People go through and they like film the insides of the places and they're just like really creepy. It's like the, it looks like the apocalypse, but it's actually a real place. Got some right away. That's good. Oh, that's bright. Oh my God. That is, that is bright. Leather chest piece. I can break that down into leather. Is there enough to do actually to do? Um, gameplay wise, this game is very, very, very similar to vanilla Fallout 4. I can't think of anything like new gameplay wise that's been added. Like the perk system's different, but there's a lot more enemy types. But nothing's really like new from Fallout 4. A uh, dumb bell. It's like a normal bell, but dumb. Jim Sessions note. Ah, um, New hey, subscriber. Three sets of 12 reps. Let's Thank you for subbing one time. Dumbbell cup. bicep curls, tricep extensions. Hmm. And back extensions, yeah. A little pee about the lack of proper equipment. No bother. Chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwards. I mean, Flatwoods. <laughs> uh, be difficult given the uh, financial situation around here. Just need to remind them of our friends, the Chinese. Uh, I'll be back on the plane to Ipswich switch within a fortnight. Uh, gather it'll be the bench press today. Yeah, again. Such a bro. <laughs> and there are, there are people that are that are like that. For themselves doing bench presses and stuff. They did add. Whoop, whoop. 
There's definitely a lot more enemy variety from Fallout, vanilla Fallout 4. A lot of new mutant types and stuff. Willie May. Oh, I'm sorry, Willie. Let's listen to your story. I press the button. Hush. I think it's recording. Oh no, there's two beside each other. Hello. Hello there. Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> I hate these things. This is Willie May. And I was asked to talk a bit about my life since the war to help educate future children. Gotta someday. make remember that that's there. I think that's nice. I thought I'd just watch my programs and entertain the grandkids in my retirement. But that didn't turn out to be the case. I'm just I'm gonna go make my armor piece and come back. In time, you see. When I saw it in a dream, I knew my prayers were answered. When you pick it up, it plays instantly. My husband Frank used to work in the mines. Just a bit before the war, there was news of tremors and he, he didn't come home i don't know what happened to him or why he never came home for sure and between you and me i'm fine with that since the war i've just read my old newspapers and listened to can music. you pick it up without playing i can never figure out how in the beta for once every time i pick it up it always start playing right then i'd have to restart the one i was listening to you ever hear of the Watoga Times Atomic Lottery? The winner got 10 years worth of Blamco mac and cheese, and Salisbury steak, and, and Nuka Cola, of course. I played that lottery for 20 years, and I finally won the month before the war. It lasted only eight years, though. But who can you complain to? By the time it ran out, I had heard the responders' radio broadcast, so I went out to find them and get supplies. Bless their hearts. Well, I'm going home now. For a bit, anyways. How do I turn this thing off? Oh, blast these things. Not this button. Not this one. Oh, oh here it is. <laughs> How do I turn this dim thing off? God damn it. That was the best story ever. Some of these, uh, some of the lore things are very interesting, and other ones are. They're just like, okay. That's. Alright. Cool. All right, we've needed, uh, what armor piece am I missing? Uh, right leg, right leg. Oh, uh, I feel so much better. Uh, why is everyone mad about ton of lore in the game? No one's mad about there being tons of lore. They're just the quality of the lore isn't always spectacular. As I said, some some bits are more interesting than others. Can't hit anything. Yeah, which is fine. What's is what's fascinating is they they said uh, that there is more recorded dialogue in this game with with almost no NPCs than their other games, which is like that's a lot of audio logs. That is so many. I know it's like oh. That's a ton. But I don't know about but I will I will gladly, gladly take audio logs over 
recording the guy saying yes, yes, sarcastic yes, or no, but really yes, like for everything. That took up so much space. I'll take audio logs over that any day. I'll take an unvoiced main character and more audio logs. Wait, it was across from the... From the... Took that porch right there. All right! Well, my character does have my voice, although... Actually, I don't know if there's any dialogue, like, options at all on this. Oh, it did take it without playing. Oh. Hmm. Who goes there? Part one. Here we go. Welcome back, dear listeners. <gasps> it's time once again to... Radio show! All you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own. Great Where subtitles myth, for this. Legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode... Goes there. The strange encounter in Flatwoods is brought to you by Sugar Bombs, the breakfast cereal with explosive great taste and 100% of the recommended daily allowance of sugar. Get your morning started right with 100% daily Bombs. allowance of sugar. <laughs> Our tale begins on a um, painful night. They accidentally unlocked the game on PC cow, already, Red so you can play if you have the PC version. In quite the predicament. Having taken a spill and fallen into a dark place. Where am I? Jack? Bip? Mr. Bailey? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. Who's there? I, I can't see you. Me? My name's Sally. What's yours? Fred. Are you okay, Fred? I think so. My head's a little woozy. Must have hit it when I fell. Oh no. Did you get lost too? Well, sort of. What I mean is that I was camping with my scout troop by the lake near Flatwoods. There were these lights kind of dancing in the sky. Me? I guess. Anyway, we heard some weird noises and the guy's double dog dared me to go look. So I did. All by yourself? You're really brave. Shucks. Thanks. I followed the noises to an entrance of an old mine. It smelled awful there, like rotten eggs, but worse. Suddenly, there was this bright light shining down on me. I was super scared and ran to the mine to hide, but everything felt strange. Like, my feet weren't even touching the ground. Everything went black, and I woke up here in the dark. That all happened to me, too. The woods do what my dad says. Mine! You straight or lost your foot, they don't need it anymore. I gotta come back and read those. A very good question indeed. Tune in next time to find out the answer in the chilling conclusion of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. Nothing helps. Sorry, Tabitha. Haha, <laughs> they're all dead. And you hurt them. You, they suffer because of you, honey. Cuddles, softy. Sorry. Sorry, my name is Tabitha and I'm an addict. I was told this type of thing can help me recover. Can't. Cassie, I shouldn't have said anything, said any of that at all. I was cruel to you. Patty, you're right. I knew it at the time, too. Kenk, you're an asshole, but so was I. We both hurt each other. I forgive you, Dad. I get it now. Taking care of kids is hard, and it was too hard for you. You were young, and it was just too much. I get it. I do. I'm an adult now, too, and well, I took a long time to understand why you did it. 